Yo folks and welcome to the channel, my name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be talking about my early impressions for Figurine Fantasy. Just note that this game is not out in global yet. If you want to download it APK Pure, I won't leave links in the description because it's up to you whether you want to play this game or not yet. But I just wanted to talk about it because a lot of folks have been trying it out and I wanted to try it as well. Let's jump into the gameplay just so you guys can see it. Now, the first thing that should ring in your head when you are looking at this game aesthetic wise, it's Toy Story. You know, it is like what Vulcan said. It's like Figurine you know sort of the western world in the sense of like this animation style where they're all coming to life right and to me it's nice on that perspective now gameplay it's nothing too crazy it has like that princess connect or auto rpg sort of style but just note that this is a little bit more configurable because you can essentially place them in certain lanes and they will deal certain damage you know based off of the lanes they're at they have rolls and everything it's very similar to any sort of like auto rpg and of course i believe you can play this manually like in case you like want to select their skills and stuff there is a story i like the story because it's sort of simple it, it does definitely have have like that Toy Story vibe where essentially there's certain figurines that will be egotistical or what have you but it's really enjoyable in that sense if you like that sort of setting and depending on where you place the figurines it matters greatly so if I place this dude right here down in the bottom then Yuki right here will be most likely hit so watch what happens usually they do like that top down effect and this cannon right here will aim for Yuki as you can see and just note that this is a free to play tank and she's actually one of the best ones early on and you are definitely advised to use the SRs at the very beginning of the game because they are actually going to be your biggest forms of actually like leveling up characters you know I'm using like some of the ultras and stuff it's nice like while I have them but this game is sort of dupe intensive where you know you need dupes in order to increase their levels and whatnot but the game is very how do I put this it is generous enough so that you can at least do a couple of summons in the beginning there is going to be like a re-rollable like sort of chapter at the very start so if you jump here into my notes and stuff this is actually all by Drakeson he is going to be one of the players over on the official you know figurine fantasy discord he's talking about the re-roll right here essentially you get to chapter one you get one pen roll aim for these characters i just want to cover it really quick in case you want to do that but in my opinion there's no point in sort of re-rolling in this game because you're going to need dupes in order for them to actually stand out like your figurines i mean if you go into like the upgrade menus it's very like standard in the sense where it's like oh you need x amount of resources in order to upgrade characters i love the design letter because this is how you upgrade their skills and technically speaking you are like making them fleshed out a little bit better you upgrade their paints and all sorts of things there's different parts they have like equipment or gear i just like the way this game presents itself right it really takes the figurine sort of aesthetic to a next level and it's unique in the sense that there's no other game like this they don't go all in on the concepts that they do and i think it's very immersive for a gacha game to sort of take this toy story aesthetic to another level now my only gripe really is of course like if you want to upgrade them to a certain extent you will need to promote them this feature right here which is increasing the stars and of course, the only way is if you get dupes. Of course, like someone for Yuki, she's going to be a free to play character because you get copies of her. I highly recommend upgrading them. But when it comes to this, my favorite section is actually going to be this otaku zone. And the reason why is because I can actually like set my figurines in like a shelf and place them in different areas. For example, I'm like, oh, I want her to be on this shelf or oh, no, I want to use like this giant shelf where she can sort of stay in like this regard where she's like the queen of the corner. We what? And she's like raining down upon the other figurines. Oh my gosh, can nope. I not configure this? Nope. Does it? There we go. There we go. We got this. All right. And now we have it like this. If I save it, it looks a little bit awkward. But the point is, this area right here is probably my favorite just because you have such customizability and then you can buy furniture and everything. To be honest, I'm not really playing this game for the gotcha aspects. I'm mostly here because I have like a pure love for actual figurines. And I used to collect them back when I lived in Japan. And you can actually look at all the different figurines, you know, in the gallery section right here. Here's like a lollipop waifu. I like that. Here's like an angel sort of looking dude. And then here's like a dragon sort of waifu. You know, very official like looking stuff. 
And to be honest with you, it doesn't feel cheap because figurines legitimately look like this and there's no reason as to why it doesn't keep like this sort of plasticky style. It's kind of necessary because that's what figurines are at the end of the day. And what I really like about this game is there is going to be diverse sets of roles. So of course, like the tank is gonna be a tank. Vanguard, they're sort of like your bruisers characters. They go up in the face and they sort of deal damage. You have your militarist. These are like sort of like your range DPS. They sit in the back, glass cannon. See, you can see here, legit like a cannon or a tennis ball sort of thing. And then you have your specialists. They deal like debuffs and everything. And honestly, look at this. Look at this. Like, how can you say no to this game when it looks like this? I, I know like it's sort of like, I know it's sort of superficial looking at the characters just by face value. This one sort of looks like Peach from like Mario. And here's gonna be like our healer characters. Like she has like a little sunflower right here. What I like about this game is it knows where its strength is and it's pressing on the fact that it's a figurine based game, right? It's not trying to break the mold of like, hey, I'm like anime Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, hence like other game that's come out from an anime. It's doing something else of its own. And that's what I like about it. It's just different. And I wanted to try something that wasn't exactly similar to all of the other gacha games just pure aesthetic wise right gameplay wise you guys already saw it's very similar in the sense that oh it's just grid based you set your characters in particular lanes you upgrade them you know you need dupes and all that stuff but as you can see there's like an actual story and if you sort of enjoy toy story you enjoy like different factions sort of like competing for attention or what have you i think there's a place for you to actually enjoy this game and it's mostly from the perspective of like hey you're a fan of like collecting figures Greens. And then here's gonna be like your tower modes where essentially you can get like some resources right here. I can't unlock this until I reach the max average level. And you know, there's like this final battle section. This is more of like a gear grinding sort of area or resource farming. You can fight like this dragon dude. And here's like a little tip in case you're fighting him. He likes to attack right down in the middle. So he can be a little bit annoying in that sense. So I like to place a tank right in the middle and you can see that whole entire lane is sort of getting attacked and the other lanes essentially won't receive damage. This is some things that you can do to essentially maximize yourself in some tactical aspects within the game. I love the aesthetic. That's why I'm playing. That's why I'm coming back. And that's why I want to give this game a chance, regardless of, you know, how I feel about dupes, just because there's nothing else like this. And I think this sort of style with figurines, it can sort of become popularized because a lot of people who watch anime and stuff, they like to collect physical merch. And I like having figurines, like when I can display them on a shelf or have them in a box, or I have like this sort of collector mindset with this game in particular and as you can see we are losing here because my characters are not leveled up enough and whatnot but i believe i still get a little bit of like these boxes and you can still you know acquire resources whether you can win them or not and you can see it's a new record I hit yes and everything and i have some victory rewards right here and you get like these like shards and stuff and just note when it comes to this game like you can get a free ur or like the highest rarity within the game over time there is like daily login rewards so it's kind of nice in that aspect there's like a full 10 wish that you can wait after getting a week i really don't recommend folks re-rolling for this and this is going to be like one of the waifus that you might be able to roll for in the beginner banners and there's this like sort of area where you can also get like some guaranteed pulls for certain characters which i like greatly honestly it's not a bad game in my opinion <laughs> like i played worse and i just like the way it presents itself it knows what it is yes there's a vip system in case you guys are wondering and in case you guys are curious like what are the rates if you go to full blind box right here this is gonna be the summoning method that i'm aware of and i could use like these tickets that i have right now to order one box just so you guys can see it and then you sort of rip the box to see what figurine that you get in there and we got this little naughty bunny all right so it's a simple game it's about figurines it has a toy story sort of thing going on here the upgrade mechanics are very straightforward the login mechanisms are very straightforward if you've played a gotcha game you will know what you are getting out of this you're mostly playing this based off of the fact that it's different in the aesthetics in the way it presents itself you know you have like your idle method right here where you claim it i'm 
almost glad it's not trying too many different things because where it shines is the fact of there is a gallery. Like I can view my figurines. Normally this would be like a clubhouse section, but here it's going to be like your figurine stands and you know, you can upgrade like your otaku level. I just love this. Come on. Why can't I like something where I get to be more of a weeb just like this? There's something about this game that has its own charm and I can't really explain why it's so interesting to me, but it's probably because no one else has tried this figurine gameplay and actually pulled it off to this degree. And let's go ahead and switch them back. I recommend putting like more of your tankier characters in the middle usually, or you can put them at the top. It's up to you. It's just that usually you want your support to essentially heal everyone. And if you're wondering like, hey, you know, which characters are going to be the best, I can show that in a bit. But as you can see here, Yuki's going to be the one taking a brunt of the damage and they actually move like in certain areas. So when she moves forward, she can get attacked by four different sections. So in some ways you want to control like where the tank or how they're essentially positioning themselves so they don't take too much damage or they can properly attract aggro within the game. Got another victory right there. Just upgrade your characters, level them up and you should be good. And like I said, this is by Drakeson. These are going to be like all the different characters that you want to roll for and stuff. I'll leave this down in the description and here's going to be some team comps in case like folks are sort of curious about the game. This one is probably like the best team comp for everyone, which I find interesting. Both of these characters are free, Yuki and Ume right here. And here are some codes in case you guys want to input them within the game. But yeah, anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we hit 27,500 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next one.